CID raids in West Bengal in search of MPNR's body. Butcher Jihad sparks sensation in the locality. Court granted authority to manage Benazir's seized assets. ACC orders closure of all account transactions. And Cyclone Ramal to intensify into deep depression, likely to strike on Saturday. Caution issued at ports. Good evening and welcome to News 24 English Bulletin. This is Sanjana Chaudhry. Those were the Walton Millionaire Offer headlines. Now the details. Dhaka Metropolitan Magistrate Dilruba of Rostiti has granted an eight-day remand for the three suspects involved in the murder of Chennaida 4 MP Anwaru Azim Anar. Dhaka Court granted an eight-day remand to three suspects arrested for the murder of Chennaida 4 MP Anwaru Azim Anar. The suspects Amanullah Aman, alias Shimul Bhuya, Shilasti Rahman and Faisal Ali Shaji, alias Tanvir Bhuya, were presented before the Chief Metropolitan Magistrate's Court. The CCTV footage showed Anwaru entering a flat in Sanjeeva Garden, Newtown, Kolkata and Shaheen, leaving the flat with a suitcase. It is believed that Amar's dismembered body was in the suitcase. Jihad Hawladar, alias Buthar Jihad, implicated in the murder of Chennaida 4 MP Anwar al Azim Anar, has been placed on a 12 day remand by a Barasat court. Jihad was apprehended by the West Bengal State Police on Thursday night and presented before the Barasat court in Chabbis Parganas on Friday. The court ordered 14 day police custody for further investigation. Anti-Corruption Commission ACC lawyer Kurshid Alam said the court will decide whether to appoint an administrator on behalf of the government after confiscating the assets of former IGP Benazir Ahmed. At the same time, the transactions in his 33 bank accounts will be closed. Recently, the ACC launched an investigation into the matter after a report titled Aladdin's Chirag in Benazir's House was published in the Daily Color Conto and in News 24. According to the media reports, former IGP Benazir has assets worth thousands of crores of taka in the name of his wife and children. BNP Vice Chairman Shamsul Zaman Dudu accused the government of complicity in the corruption involving a former army chief and a former IGP. Dudu made these allegations during a sit-in protest outside the National Press Club on Friday, stating that corruption was the government's modus operandi. He urged BNP members to unite in defending democracy, condemning the incarceration of Khalid Azia under false pretenses. We'll be back after a short break. Welcome back. You're watching News 24 English Bulletin. Awam League General Secretary Obadil Qadir affirmed that former Army Chief General Aziz Ahmed and former IGP Benazir Ahmed would face consequences for any wrongdoing dismissing notions of government protection. Qadir made these statements during a press conference at the Awam League's central office. He stressed that Benazir Ahmed is not exempt from accountability. Qadir also addressed the BNP's claim, stating that arrests for terrorism aren't politically motivated. Earlier, the Awami League mourned the passing of Manu Mojumdar, a veteran resistance fighter and former MP from Netrakona. The Meteorological Department reported that Cyclone Ramal has weakened into a low-pressure area likely developing into a deep depression by evening, possibly impacting Bangladesh on Sunday. Number one, warning signs have been raised at seaports. The briefing held in Agarga revealed Ramal's approach towards the Shundarbans and the West Bengal's coast. If intensifying, it might traverse the Shundarbans, Khulna, Ganjak, Take West, Bengal and Kolkata currently 870 kilometers from Chittagong. Rainfall is anticipated nationwide extending to northern Silet if the cyclone makes landfall. That's all from the newsroom today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.